Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and I'm going to get straight into the video. So I just made an updated version of my Devil's Deal build and I wanted to share it with you guys. It gets up to 466 attack, 38 blast, and 100% affinity with maximum might and weakness exploit active. And as you can see it hits the training to Tranodon for 1754 damage. So I'll get straight into the build. For the weapon I'm using Devil's Deal. For the slots I'm using two Mastery Jewel 2's. For the Rampage slots I would recommend Anti-Aquatic Jewel 2, Anti-Aerial Jewel 2, Anti-Dragon Jewel 2, or Fanged Exploit Jewel 2 depending on which monster you are hunting. Here is an image that shows you what jewel you should be using for each monster. For the head I'm using the Lunagaran Helm with a Mastery Jewel 2 and a Critical Jewel 2. For the torso, I'm using the Baryoth Male X with two Critical Jewel 2s and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the arms, I'm using the Baryoth Fambraces X with a Tenderizer Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the waist, I'm using the Anchnath Coil X with a Wirebug Jewel plus 4, Grinder Jewel 1, and a Steadfast Jewel 1. For the legs, I'm using the Hunter's Grease X with a Tenderizer Jewel 2. And for the Talisman, I'm using an Attack Boost Level 3 with a Level 2 slot. And I put a Tenderizer Jewel 2 in that slot. Ideally, you would want one or two more level 1 slots on this build from the Talisman. This would allow you to get Stun Resistance level 3 and Flinch Free level 1. Now, this Talisman should not be too difficult to get. Unfortunately, I got the short end of the stick. As you can see, I have an attack boost level 3 with a level 2 slot, while Zephyra has an attack boost level 3 with a level 2 slot and a level 1 slot. While Dino Pi has an attack boost level 3, Slugger level 1, with a level 4 slot. So you should be able to get a Talisman that works for this build before too long. If you're struggling to get Talismans, I have a video that shows you how you can get up to 1000 Talismans per hour. I will link that in the description. Also, if this Talisman is just way too much for you, I do have a build that uses the infamous Quick Sheath level 2 with 2 level 2 slot Talisman. That does a lot of damage, so I will link that in the description as well. As for the food, I like to use Dango Weakner, Dango Booster, and Dango Moxie. You can use Hopping Skewers to increase the amount of damage you will get from these Dangos. But keep in mind, level 1 Dango Moxie only has a 50% chance to trigger when you would faint, so it will no longer be 100% reliable in preventing you from fainting. A lot of people ask me what my layered armor is, so I'm going to put it in this video. For the head, I use the Fox Mask, which is a purchasable piece of DLC layered armor. For the torso, I use the Sailor Suit. For the arms, I use the Brigade Van Braces. For the waist, I use the Scholar's Skirt. And for the legs, I use the Sailor Socks. You can see which pieces are colored what right next to their names. If you do not have the Fox Mask, I would recommend the Baryoth Helm X with the white hair instead. You can see what it looks like now. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, and I have more videos like this coming soon. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, and I have more videos like this coming soon. Also, if you made it this far into the video, I want to let you know that I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.